as the view starts as 9.0 OPM, surrounded by great powers. But because of its missions, ruler trade and religion, in the early game it has one of the best army quality in the whole world. And besides, Persia historically was formed by Ardabil, yes, by this dynasty. In this video, I will survive and form Persia as Ardabil. As usual, let's start with privileges. Let's grant one privileges, this land. Also, let's grant one more privilege, which will of course take five crown land, but I think it's worth it. Establish the Kizilbash regiments. Now it's very important to take religious diplomats. Let's also take Amir's officer rights, Parker loans, and I think this should be enough for now. Although no, let's also grant local residents to scholar. Uh, here I would choose shock damage received. Let's invite this scholar. Now let's check our advisors. So I see I have different reputation one, and usually I would hire him, but right now he is too expensive. If he was third level, then I would. Let's also focus on military. Not choose any rivals right now. Build free company, although maybe not free company, but Kurdish company. It has quite good general. And let's build three Castle Bash infantry. And now let's check our diplomatic situation. So I can ally Mushasha. Oh no, I can't. I can't. Maybe I said I did I threatened. Oh yes, I can ally it. Perfect. Offer alliance, and that's really good. And uh, let's see if I can roll Mary Bachmanis. I can't. They're also very good ally. Okay, then I will put on improved relations. Let's see, maybe we can ally anyone else. Uh, not really, not really. Unfortunate. Anyway, let's start improving relations with Bahmanis. And I would just need to wait for 11th December. Here it is, precisely 11th December. What does it mean? It means we need to find our victims. So, there are only two basically. Sherban and Biapas. It seems I was lucky and Biapas didn't ally anyone. Well, not anyone, but specifically Kazikumuk. I've tried this start like 10 or more times and if it allies someone, it's Kazikumuk. Is it lucky? Uh, kinda. Kinda lucky. Even if it allies Kazikumuk, it won't save it, but now it would be a little bit easier. So, what's the plan? Well, if Sherwan didn't ally Ajam, I would declare on Sherwan, of course. It's quite good target too, maybe even better. But we have what we have. And by the way, I haven't seen a single start where Sherwan doesn't ally Ajam. It always does. Anyway, let's finish the army of the realm. Here it is, plus 5 morale of armies. Now I'm going to declare on Biapas ASAP, with Reconquest. We have more troops and we have one of the best qualities in the Middle East, just like this. 100 mysticism, Jafari and Zaidi, plus 5 morale from ruler and plus 5 from missions. That is quite powerful. And I have quite good general. So my first goal is to siege down these points, correct? Now let's stack wipe this stack, should be easy. Yes, here it is. Stack wipe, and now either Ajam or Jalan will declare on Biapas, yes, they will. So the problem is that I can't really afford to be idle. My economy is not sustainable at all. So here we go, three Kizilbash units. Now we can finish the mission, establish the Kizilbash, get 20 army tradition, and now we can ask Amiris to grant generalship. Okay, let's grant generalship. Because we've got 20 army tradition from missions, the general will be 50 tradition one. Okay, so now what I will do, what I will do is I will save and wait for either Sherwan or Ajam to declare. I'm not sure if it will work, but that's why I saved. Okay, it seems neither was to declare, that's why I will take one province, our core, and I will vassalize. Maybe let's even force religion. Okay, now that I vassalized it, I am at war against Jilan. Defensive war. I will once again wait, maybe someone will declare uh, on Jilan, I don't know. Uh, although I doubt, I doubt. Okay, then let's just annex Jilan. If someone declared me to like Mazandran, I would also vassalize it. And I think I can declare on Ajam. By the current on Sherwan. Or maybe no, Karkin would be worse. Definitely. So, originally I wanted to make this video a guide, but the start is a very, very RNG. But this strategy is kind of consistent. It almost always works. But sometimes Ajam declares on Biapas. In such case, it makes things more difficult. Or easier. Because we won't need to declare. Okay, anyway, let's roll Mary and ally Bachmanis. This will basically ensure that they will ally us. No, seriously. Okay, usually they do. Usually they do. Do a scornful insult to Jayanagar. Uh, I will declare on Shirvan anyway. It's alive with the Ajam, and I would kill two birds with one stone. They have more troops, but that's not really a problem. Although, let's see Mushasha, our favors. No, it will take too long to get 10 favors. So let's just declare. Make Ajam cool belligerent, and uh, let's go. First tech wipe. By some miracle, I have won this battle. I'll be honest, I entered by accident. I didn't want to participate. Maybe I can even try to stack wipe a Kuyanmo. Let's see. Okay, no need. Let's just defend. Tech wipe. Yes, I'm just trying to kill smaller stacks. Let's see, maybe we can piss out someone. Like, you know, maybe. No. 
Right now the casual duration is really good, but I can't relax. Still too many troops. Yep, kill death ratio is really, really good. Although I don't have time to recover, I can only fight. So it seems Atram doesn't have main power anymore, which is good, really good. But I also can say I have too much of it. It seems Timur is declared on a jam, might be good. Let's start counter offensive. Right now I'm just a pipe machine. Like, our build squad is very good and paired with its mod and port right at the start is impossible to not stack pipe. Let's piece out a jam, full annexation. Quite good. Shame team reached took some provinces. I knew this would happen, not a big deal. Now we can take bigger loans, so let's replace smaller ones. With this inflation, I soon will form Zimbabwe. Okay, 10 loans, that's a lot, but we will survive. And let's finish protect our debil. Now I need to conquer Shear 1. Let's do it. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Let's lower our war exhaustion. I like Bahmanis. And now I'm relatively safe. And hope that team rates will be docile and won't ally anyone strong like Ottomans or whatever. Now I think I should delete my Kurdish company and buy free company for manpower. And we can finish the mission Cocker Shirvan. 100 admin mana, always good. But that's the start, yes, that's the start. That's why I decided to not make a guide, because, yeah, it, it's rough. It's quite difficult even for established players. For beginners, it's just impossible, just play Ak or Cargo, you know. But basically, the strat was to kill as many troops as possible until one side gives up. Let's do it on port, I think, in Shirvan. I'm not made of gold. So I think maybe let's declare on Karkunu, why not? So I will Georgia and Mazdran. Okay, let's go. First stack wipe, stack wipe, stack wipe. Uh, yeah, this war is a lot easier, I would say. Okay, not stack wipe, but close. Now we have the same amount of troops, I believe. This should be enough to soon drain German power. Well, I would like to say that Karkunu is also a quite good fighter. Sure, if I can keep this up for long. Stack wipe after stack wipe. I'm already afraid I will run out of power. The priest is each down. Let's stack wipe. Let's kill Sunni Zelots. Also, I forgot, but I should do a spell work on Georgia. I should. We can piece out Mushasha. Let's do it. Okay, let's piece out Karakuyanu. I would also, of course, like to take year one, but I think money would be better. I need not year one, but passion princess for our mission to get Ismail. Let's see. Uh, conquer the breeze. We've got corn degrees for free and into Persia. It would be quite stupid to not make Ismail a ruler. 565 at the age of 15, uh, plus guaranteed conqueror trade and zealous trade. We can also make him our general, but no, not worth it. No. And especially not this option. I think I will even abdicate if I can. Not yet, not yet, but I will. Maybe I can't uh, ally mammals. Let's make attitude to Atomos as threatened, maybe, or hostile. Okay, now we need to be quite opportunistic, because there are no really good options. For expansion. And I think I should finish this mission. For this I would uh, use my interaction. Okay, I need to wait a little to get some more mana. Okay, let's use this interaction. Uh, finish effect governance. And now I need to convert some provinces. That's what I need to do. I can declare on Georgia, maybe let's try. Okay, it seems I can even replace all of my bank loans with the estate ones. Already put, already not bankrupt. And I think let's also grant some other privileges. Freedom of interpretation, diesel bash leadership, and protected communities. Where is it? Here it is. Protected communities to finish the missions earlier. And uh, let's take Noble of your Corps. Also, by the way, I am trying to stack mysticism here, not legalism. Usually, this one is better because, well, the bonuses are just plainly better. But in case of Artabil, first, we need religious strength, and second, moral of armies is a lot better than whatever the legalism offers, because I want to become the Space Marine. So I will fully annex Georgia, I think, yes I will, and take some money. But I won't core these provinces, not enough at my mana. I will release it as my vessel. It will be strong, but I think I would be able to keep it loyal. It's also score for its outcome rates. And I can rail my members, that means I will be able to ally them. Yes, here we go. Well, now we have some chance against Timris. We do. But first I will declare a mana Okay, let's fabricate and declare, before Timris have done it. Now we can finish this mission, well I won't right now, but I will peace out and I will. It will give us Holy War Sibia for 25 years. Here it is. Faith and Conquest. Let's start. And by the way, now we have by far the biggest morale in the world. I will wait for 10 favors with Mamux and I will declare on I wanted to say, but no. I hate when Atomans warn me. I really do. Okay, with Mamux we should be able to win. And I forgot to establish the Safavid Order. Let's do it. And let's finish the mission. Castle in Artbill. Quite cool. I think I can even do the castle here. We now just need to somehow beat up Timurids. I wanted to fully conquer Kaskomok, 
but might be not the best idea at least right now. Their land is not really that useful, but I will get what be collision. Maybe let's just it no. Get some money and the more patience with it. And break alliance with Ottomans. And let's fully annex Ardalan. So I think let's prepare for war and declare on Ottomans. I know might not sound like my brother's idea, but I don't have alternatives. So in theory I could abdicate my ruler, but I need this morale. Let's just declare. Uh, take core, pull Mamux. I will try, as usual, to play defensively. I will make the of troops. Okay, good start. Ottomans already showing their intelligence. War is kinda boring right now. Ottomans are... Well, I don't know what Ottomans are doing. And Mamux are doing something even stranger. I don't know what Mamux are trying to do. And I'm just sitting down forts. Mamux have left the war. I'm not surprised. First tech web in the war. And I think we can try to peace out without Mamux. The war won't go great, no. Are the only ones who can help. Okay, let's peace out. I would just take Georgian course and war operations. But more importantly, now the warning is gone. No more, no more warning. I can declare on whoever I want. And by whoever I want, I mean team rates. Uh, let's call in Mamux and uh, let's dance. Maybe let's make Aquino Coplegerant, although... Okay, not the best idea. Okay, let's declare. It seems Iraq has become independent. Okay, okay, let's... Hmm. Did they warn me again? Or what? Interesting. Interesting. How does it work? So it seems just uh, having a truce doesn't remove warning. Which is really stupid if you ask me. But well, can't do anything. Okay, that's just like what? 7 to open province, I won't lose much. Ottoman's problems. But then why didn't they join when I declared on team reads? Great question. Anyway, let's piss out a queen. No? It just territories. Well, it seems you can try to lay Poland. It seems you can. It seems it's the best way to... And the Atomans, because yeah, they are just the worst. It's like the Atomans AI has a goal to focus on player. They're just annoying. Very good stack wipe, oh, let's peace out. So I will take 12 provinces uh, in Persian, and of course I will try to cut Atomans off team rates. And I removed one of my expansion direction, let's say. So I want to have at least one more. Okay, first I should be able... Oh no. Well, I can complete the mission, but I need to become great power, which is not easy. Anyway, I will ask Poland for Renaissance, so let's ally it, here we go. And I will buy Renaissance. Request for knowledge sharing. And I will also upgrade my government rank, and I think the Queen Karabakh would be safe. Well, I definitely have to do something with inflation. Let's see, maybe I have advisor, no, I don't. Let's find him. Oh, here it is. Although I would also need to use admin mana, because just advisor won't be enough. No, it won't. Okay, let's fully annex Karabakh, fabricate play on Karabakh, and also declare on it. I can't declare with Holy War because, well, it's Shia. We have the same religion. Armenian slaves in the Artabili Shartam. Well, I think let's choose the second option. So I can conquer Basra. Very good. Without angering Ottomans. Let's see coalition. Ah, it should be fine. Should be fine. And let's conquer Karabakh. Okay, perfect. Now let's check out Ottomans. Maybe we can declare. Yes, maybe we can. Maybe we can. But I need to build some cannons, at least three of them. Together with Poland and Mamluk should be easy, although Poland is a little bit busy, so maybe I would wait more. So first, let's embrace the sons. Yes, I took some burger loans, I will pay them off. I'll wait for a month, I am great power now, quite good. And finish this wonderful mission. Plus 10 moral damage, minus 20 core creation cost, and minus war score cost. Uh, well, although I'm not sure if I should finish it now or later. Okay. Our ruler should live for at least like 20 more years. Declare with cleansing of heresy. Last wait for Poland to peace out. Should be soon. Okay, so I think let's mark some provinces as vital. Specifically Iraq. Okay, and now let's, I think, declare on Ottomans. Although, first I will deal with Rambles. Okay, and maybe let's hire one more company. Or maybe no. Maybe let's hire a little bit more cavalry. Okay, and now let's declare. Ottomans should be busy in Balkans, so at first it won't be difficult. At first we'll focus on getting Tunis out of the war. I think it is quite dangerous, just because they can siege down Kachara and there's already minus Mamex. Okay, here we go, uh, what's best? Uh, let's peace out, take some money, and uh, let's continue. Okay, I think Mamex should deal with Medina and Yemen, at least I hope so. Okay, let's peace out Yemen and Medina. And now Mamex should focus on Ottomans, at least I hope so. And I want to enforce the religion of Medina just for fun, Shia Medina. Okay, uh, let's continue sieging down. So it seems Poland has finally started doing something. It seems, yeah, war is going smooth, but Ottomans are a lot smarter than I thought. Yeah, they focused on Poland first, that's why they're so successful here. Right now, at least, I don't know where are the Ottomans and what are they doing. Well, maybe that's because we've killed half of them. And by the way, this is the proof that sieges also work for AI. 71% and they can siege down. 
And I forgot about next comment form. Of course, it will be representative of the crown. I think. Well, not of course, but it is quite good. Let's also take new idea group, and I think it will be uh, divine ideas. I would take religious, but well, for religious I need admin mana, and I don't have it. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. Well, we still can win, but without pawns will be a little bit more difficult. And without mana too. Okay, now that's not good. No, that's not. On the other hand, now Atomos don't have manpower, and my allies can't spoil me my war goal. I can show superiority as much as I want. Well, Atomons are trying to win and they have some successes, but they have no chance. Already no manpower. And for some reason they are killing my rebels. I would try to conserve my manpower, but do whatever you want, Atomons. So it seems I can get like 70 war score just from battles, so I think I may try. Okay, that's very good casual duration. Yeah, not, not bad, not bad. Well, I doubt they have a big chance to win. Like, I doubt they have any chance to win already. Let's see their manpower. They shouldn't have any, but let's just... Oh no, they have some. Oh yes, I forgot, we can piece out ALS separately. Shame I can't do this with Crimea. I would if I could, but I can't. At least maybe I can piece out now. I think I would take with Buster Provinces. Some Alep 3 centers. Yeah, like this. And money. Oh, I think I should wait a bit longer. Let's piece out. I will get all these territories plus enough of money to pay out all of my loans. To be honest, without Memex in Poland, I wouldn't win. Uh, they treated Atomos army. Without this, I would be not in great position, let's say. Also, it seems our Holy War CB has ended, unfortunately. Yeah, it seems I can even pay out all my state loans. Yeah, very good. Was quite profitable war. I also was thinking that maybe I should first finish this mission, consolidate Persia. But the rewards aren't that big, and I think farming Persia right now would be better. Let's try. Okay, let's take Persian ideas. They should be better, especially in morale department. Yes, we have now plus 15 morale, which is very good. And let's see, we have some missions. And I can't complete any of them. Let's also start annexing my vessels. I will grant Amir's integration policy. Here it is. Okay, let's declare on Carson and make first co budget. Too busy. Yeah, they have quite backwards technology. Two technology less. I think that was all of Fars army. I think I should be able to fully annex it. Let's see. Yes, I am. Although, let's wait for our course to finish. Okay, and let's fully annex Fars. I think I should be able to finish one more mission, and yes, I am. Consolidate Persia. A lot of redevelopment. We can also finish Caucasian conquest. Get Georgians and Armenians as promoted cultures, and butcher the black sheep. 100 admin mana. And protect the West Iranian, and place 20 separatism in Iranian provinces. Let's also maybe take supremacy over the aristocracy. Isabar got 10 influence, but Amir's lost 20. I think very good exchange. Okay, Murph is siege down. Let's see, maybe I can piece out Transcutiana. I can't, unfortunately. Okay, I couldn't find uh, the unjust reduction advisor, so I think I will take this one and fire him. Our religious direction. Now we can finish this mission. Let's choose, I think, Shia branch. Pasha and this one. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Plus 5 merchant strength versus heretics. And uh, let's take passion influence, but as Shia Pasha, it's almost useless. For this, we need to first convert some nations and then technologically vassalize them, which is just uh, not really a good idea. And uh, let's piece out Transoxiana. Well, now the war is basically won. They have no chance. Let's piece our system and only blue just on the left. Well, basically. I think it should be easy. Okay, let's piece out blue just on, And I can fully annex Khorasan. Let's do it. Okay, that's perfect. Now Persia is quite big. It is. I also can declare team rates, but maybe I will wait a little. And let's do some force, by the way. Let's do it. Let's delete this one. Very cool. It seems I'm stealing population from other countries. Very, very cool. All the technicalism is not good. And I think let's declare on team rates. Reconquer my core. I think I've got it from event. Yeah, I think so. And uh, let's make Iraq equivalent. Although, yeah, why not? Let's do it. Uh, let's start uh, by annexing Iraq and Aquino. And it seems I can call in Mamux. Why not? Let's do it. Uh, they will shouldn't take anything. Okay, let's piece out Karaman. Maybe I can resize it. No, we can't. Uh, let's then just take money and for patience. And trade power, maybe. Okay, now let's also uh, fully annex Iraq and Aquino. And uh, let's piece out Timurids. Coalition might form, but it shouldn't. At least I hope so. Although, let's check. Our extension should be fine. Well, now we have quite beautiful borders, actually. Look at this. Well, I would also take this province and these two provinces, so maybe I will declare against Hassa. Why maybe? I will. And by the way, it's my first time seeing Hassa this strong. Like, it even conquered almost. I can even fully annex Hassa. I think let's do it. Why not? A cool, she might form, but it won't. At least I hope so. And I will build some Kizil Bash. They are cheaper and they are better. Okay, so now let's establish some holy orders. And we can finish expand the Safavid order. And let's finish this mission, a legacy of the Safavid. Now we have unique religious commentary form and one more decision. If we are close to mysticism, we can embrace legalism. 
If we are close to legalism, we can embrace mysticism, just for one stability. So we can dynamically change it, like this. And now we have legalism. Anyway, thank you for watching, hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.